In this training video, we're going to look at filtering and grouping within Microsoft Project. So we've got a task list here. So for example, we might want to filter by any task that contains the word advert for advertising, advertise role. So we could just say, show me everything that begins with the word advert. So I can just click in the column, go for the drop down arrow, filter. And there's a whole lot of choices here but there's also custom so i'm going to use custom and say contains and i'm typing the word advert and there we go so everything that begin that contains advertising has now been picked up with the word advert and clear the filter by going back in the drop down arrow, clear our filters. We could do, go with duration. I could say I want to see everything that is greater than, say, seven days. And here we go. I can clear it again. We could look at start and same idea again. Starts within the last next month, last month. Starts before, starts after. So we're just using this example. Between, and we'll say between. 18.05.20 I'm going to say that is greater than or equal to and less than or equal to let's say the 5th or 6th so 5 06 20 and there we go so you can go start ranges finish ranges all kinds of filters we'll clear that one we'll go for some other filters now under the view tab you can also filter through the filter area where it's got no filter. So I could filter using resource, for example, date range. So whereas I use the star before as a start, I could give it a date range. So I could say start or finish after the go to the 1st of June okay and before I'm going to go to the 20th of July And there's the selection for that. You can go to the filter and clear it. And we could, there's date range filters, summary task, filter by all the summary tasks. Try this one. And then we'll try task range. So there's all your summary tasks. No filter. Task range. So now I only wanted to filter for task 10, the interview selection, down to 16. So 10 and 16.
and there we go. So there's lots of ways of filtering in project, many, many different choices. Useful information which can be printed or saved as a picture. You can say no filter. And the last one we look at is group. So there's no group on at present. There are grouping options. You can even create new groups. I'm going to group by resource. And here it shows me where there's no resource against any tasks. The engineering manager, where they are. HR, so we can widen the column. We can see what's happening a bit more. And we can see what resource names are in what area for what tasks. So when you come to a certain task, you can then see which resources are on them. So you can see, for example, the there's four tasks here from design job spec down to select applicant, where you've got the engineer manager and the HR manager. HR manager by the person self for a task. So you can really view your project by resources by grouping them together. If you want to get rid of the group and we can just say no group and this completes the training video on filtering and grouping in microsoft project if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to our channel hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching